a Cards with Michael production. What's up, YouTube? Cards with Michael here with another box break. Uh, but before I get started, I just want to do a quick shout out to my wife for, you know, staying married to me for a whole year. It's our first anniversary. And um, yesterday was my anniversary. Um, so actually, here, let's do a quick cute little picture here cute little picture here and that's that's me um, and if you uh, you know I've been keeping up with my streams kind of mentioned it earlier but uh, yeah I just wanted to give a quick shout out thank you okay without further ado we do have two boxes that will be uh, opening on camera today box 34 and 35 and 34 is a complete one box sponsorship from master of disaster so thank you so much for that sponsorship We'll go ahead and do your box. All right. Here we go. Here we go, guys. So, you know, just to get things started, of course, we do have that checklist. Every single time, we do want a foil alt art triumph in each of these boxes. And of course, a Mythic Godzilla and a foil Mythic Godzilla. So let's see, do we meet our quota today? Verge Rangers, our commander card. Extended Art Slither Wisp. Hey, Foil Lurus of the Dream Den. All right, all right. Volpakeet, Cloud Piercer, and a Snapdex, Apex of the Hunt, Mythic Showcase. All right. Baby Godzilla, Rune Reborn is our foil Godzilla. All right, all right. And a Regal Leosaur. Okay, all right. An okay first box, an okay first box, of course. See what the next one brings us. Here we have a Boneyard Microdrax Commander card, a Skycat Sovereign, our extended art. Hey, a Box Hopper Mythos of Brokos. Not bad, not bad. And of course, our showcase cards one, two, and a Drem Razor. Ooh, all right. Here is our. Uh, of course, our Godzilla card, Godzilla Doom Inevitable, and the Foil Huntmaster Liger. Okay, all right. So far, no Triumphs yet, no Foil Alt Art Triumph, no Mythic Godzilla, but that's all right. We're just two packs in. We're just two packs in. Okay, here we go. Obscuring Haze, our Commander card. Mythos of Vedrock. And by the way, if you're watching this for the first time, watching one of my videos for the first time, I do skip through those Foily cards. Uh, I'll talk about it in the next pack. Emergent Ultimatums are Foil. Auspicious Sterics. Dream Tail Heron. Hey, a Triome! Not bad, not bad. Look at that, look at that. Ooh, ooh, out of focus. And yes, here we go. Our first Mythic Godzilla by lot. Plant Beast Form. Not too shabby, eh? Not too shabby at all. And a Porky Parrot. All right. So yeah, like each of these Ikoria Collector Boosters, in case you're watching for the first time wondering why I just skipped through so many of them. Well... Here, we can take our time here. There's always going to be a foil token, and the back is a human soldier. And there's always going to be four foil commons. Look at that. Four foil commons. And two foil uncommons. And these aren't typically very valuable at all. So I've just been skipping through them, uh, just the way I've been doing it. And then we always end with a foil basic, and then after that we get our commander card. There's only 71 possible commander cards um, in this slot. And they're always all the new ones. And the mythic ones are kind of the, the expensive hits, like this Shabraz, this Sky Shark. Speaking of sharks, we have a voracious Great Shark here, Extended Art, a Foil Titan's Nest. So the next two cards after the Commander card are always going to be an Extended Art card. It's always going to be non-foil, voracious Great Shark in this case. And there's always going to be a Foil after that. In this case, it's Titan's Nest. And this could be an Extended Art Foil or a, just a regular Foil. If it is an Extended Art Foil, I have been calling them Box Toppers because that's kind of what they look like. Um, but otherwise, you know, foil is kind of the usual card that we'll see, just the non, non-extended non art. And of course, um, they can be mythics as well. And then there's usually two showcase cards, common and uncommon. And this last slot has 18 possibilities. And uh, here's one of the better hits, of course. Vivian Monster's Advocate, Borderless Planeswalker version. There's three Planeswalkers that, that can be in this slot. And there's five Triomes, alt art, five rare creatures, including Gem Razor and five Mythics, including Snap decks. So, great hit here, great hit here. And we have a Foil Godzilla. This last 
the second to last slot is always going to be a Godzilla. Sometimes it's foil, sometimes it's not foil. The only card it can't be is a foil buy a box promo, green, red, Godzilla. And hey, this is nice. This is a perfect example. So that last slot, it's always going to be a foil card, but it can be a foil common showcase. Oh, sorry. It's already always going to be a foil showcase card, but it can be a common, uncommon, rare, or mythic, or a foil uh, planeswalker. In this case, we have a Brokos Apex of Forever, so it's a nice little mythic showcase. Beautiful. Beautiful. We hit, Oh, wow. Uh, speaking of which, we actually hit the Brokos and the Brokos Apex of Forever. So, two relevant box hoppers. All right. Okay. I did a lot of talking there. We'll keep going through. Um, still have a bunch of packs open, so let's keep rolling. Here. Oh, another name for these like, that I've been going by. Most of you guys who've been watching know, but I call those those foils the foily boys. Just something I, I don't know, cute little term I liked. Snapdex Apex of the Hunt, here's our foil mythic. And of course our showcase cards, showcase one, showcase two, and a dirge bat. All right, all right. And a Godzilla, Primeval Champion, and a Hemophage. Okay, so far this box has been okay. That mythic Godzilla was nice. That foil Apex, uh, foil Apex of Forever showcase card um, also a nice hit, of course. Um, nice to hit Vivian as well. But I think we can do better. I think we can do better. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Then Ethereal Forager is our commander card. Gigantha the Wellspring is our extended art. Hey, another box hopper, Kahira the Orphan Guard. Nicest version of the card you can get. And we have our Showcase 1, Showcase 2, and a Triome. Triome number 2. Beautiful, beautiful hit. All right, and oh wow, another Mythic Godzilla, Biocord Space Godzilla, my favorite, of course. And that's so funny. That's another Brokos Apex of Forever card. So we really got a Soul Tide theme going on here. And a Dreamtail Heron. All right, all right. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Oh, whoops, put the Godzilla in the wrong spot. All right, all right, here we go. We got some more Foily Boys, of course. Here is our Cryptic Tril Trilobit, is our commander card. A Death's Oasis is our uh, Extended Art Rare. Hey, a Box Hopper Yorion Sky Nomad. I think this card will see play. Assuming it's not banned, it's, it's one of the easier requirements that people have been discovering. And its effect is pretty good. It's a pretty good reliable effect to just flicker your permanent. So, very nice, very nice, very nice. And of course our Showcase cards, Showcase 1. Showcase two and another Triome. Look at that. Triome number three of the box. And another baby Godzilla. That is not a hit. And a glow sound clues. Alright, alright. Here we go. We'll keep going. Over halfway through the box. We already have seen two mythic Godzillas. Neither neither of them are foil, but still. Sweet hits, sweet hits. Oh, and of course we haven't seen our our uh, you know tried and true, Mr. DC's. So a lot of potential left in the box, of course. Here's our commander card. Mythos of Aluna is our extender at rare. Little foil Skycat Sovereign, all right. Legal, Legal Leosaur, Liger, a Sea Dasher Octopus. People love the art, and I agree with them. Speaking of not having Mythic Godzillas that are foil, we have another Biolant Plant Beast form. Oh man, look at that! Cavern Whisper, of course. That's three Mythic Godzillas already in the same box in the same. <laughs> look at this. I will say that Throw Apex of Death is one of those. Funny Godzillas that we have seen this type of duplication before. In fact, they named the whole video um, Collector Box Number 7. I'll put the card right here uh, after Nethroy Apex of Death because we opened five different variants of it. Anyways, we'll keep going. But that was a spicy, spicy hit. Foil Mythic Godzillas, of course, have been holding value relatively well. And it makes sense. They're mythic, so they're more rare than anything else. And of course, foils are the nicest versions you can have. So if you're collecting a foil copy of everything, you got to get one of those, you know. Here we have Bralin Sky Shark Raider, Rider, which is the partner to the other uh, commander card we saw earlier, which was Shabraz, the Sky Shark. So very cool. Hey, and that's always a welcome sight. Luminous Brood Moth. Here we have Extended Art. Beautiful, just beautiful. All right, Foil Shark Typhoon. Love it, of course. Pouncing Short Shark is our Showcase One, Showcase Two, and another Brokos Apex of Forever. This time, not foil, just a showcase mythic. All right. And King Caesar, Ancient Guardian. This is the least valuable card in the slot. And a Majestic Horror Corps. All right. 
Three more packs. So far, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Just looking for that foil alt art triumph. We've never seen more than one foil alt art triumph in per box. So, oh! Nascent Metamorph! Look at that! Ah, I love this guy. Love it. Love it. Great hit. So far, we've only seen, of course, one foil alt art triumph per box. And I don't expect to see that changing for a long time. The Ozolith is our extender at rare. Hunted Nightmare. Hemophage. Cloud Piercer. And yeah, speaking of Triumphs, this is Triumph number four, Zagoff Triumph. Oh my gosh, another Mythic Godzilla? Look at that! Rodan, Titan of Winged Fury. Four Mythic Godzillas in the same box. Usually that's a really good sign. Notably, we still haven't seen a Mr. DC. So are we going to see a Mr. DC? We have two packs left. I would wager we see a Mr. DC and another Triumph. That's just how... Uh, you know, I've noticed these boxes have been going down. Of course, this is box number 34, so, you know, you can kind of take my word for some of these, but obviously, I'm not a prophet. Oh, speaking of, okay, so this is a great hit, too. Look at that. A foil box topper, another companion. Both this and Yorion are very, very playable. And Kahira, to an extent, of course, but that's a great hit. That is a great hit. Okay, Parcel Beast, Regal Leosaur, and Cub Warden. All right, all right, Cub Warden. Oh my gosh, another Mythic! Five Mythic Godzillas in the same box? This time we have King Caesar, Woken Titan, and a Parcel Beast. This is like, I don't know if it's still a dollar or more. But look! King Caesar, Woken Titan! Wow! 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 <laughs> Alright, we'll open this last pack, but I definitely want to show off all the Mythic Godzillas. Now, if we get another Mythic Godzilla here, that would just be insane. That would be insane. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. We have a deflecting swat. One of my favorite cards, of course. I just love saying the word swat. Here we have an extended art Lava Brink Venture. A foil Umori the Collector. Trumpeting Nar. Cavern Whisper. Hey, yeah, exactly. So a fifth triumph. Usually that's what I expect. And it's really cool. Look, like you've gotten one of each triumph. That they've been careful to do collector boxes like that. And a Mr. DC, like I predicted. Will there be a foil art triumph though? No, Vulpa Keat. But okay, all right. This has been an insane box. Just look at the Godzilla slot. We have, of course, we'll put that to the side. We don't, we don't need to see that. We don't need to see these baby Godzillas. Dora, baby Godzilla. What an insane box. I just took out all the uncommon Godzillas and <laughs> all we have are these mythic Godzillas, a Mr. DC, and a Godzilla Doom Inevitable, which is still one of the more valuable ones. I mean, wow. Wow, look at that. Two foil mythic Godzillas. Jeez. Jeez Louise. All right. Overall, great box. Pretty, pretty great box. Uh, Master of Disaster. Did pretty well here, I would say. Pretty, pretty well. Thank you again for sponsoring this whole box. Gonna have this shipped off to you as soon as I can. All right. Now, we go on to our next box. This one uh, has three sponsors. We have Adam with six packs, JTS Kings 89 with four, and Big China with two. Love that nickname. Big China. All right. Let's go ahead and get this guy opened up. And I'm excited now. Look, we just saw five Mythic Godzillas. Jeez. I wonder how this one's going to go. Really wonder how this one's going to go. All right. And here we go. Oh, wait. Oh, gosh. We have the shuffle. We have the shuffle to be fair, guys. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Adam, first six packs will go all to you. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, man. Struggling with this pack. Every now and then there will be a pack where, like, the glue just feels a little bit tighter. Uh, maybe it's a, it's a sign of things to come. Maybe it's going to be a really good pack. Who knows? Who knows? All right, here we have a Bonders Ornament. All right, not a great start, not a great start. An Extended Art Mythos of Brokos. A Yadaro Wandering Monsters are Foil. Lord Dracus. Lobakit. And a Gem Razor Showcase card. All right, all right, okay, all right. Oh, man, King Caesar and Hunt Master Liger. The same card. Okay, so I guess it's a sign of things to come in a bad way, in a very, very bad way. 
All right, all right. Pack number two. We can only, we can only do better than that because that was just, I don't know, that's probably one of the worst packs actually. All right, all right, here we go. Here we have a Glade Muse. A Lutri the Spell Chaser is our extended art. Not a bad one. A Foil Inspired Ultimatum. Necro Panther. Dreamtail Heron. Everquill Phoenix. Okay, all right, all right. And a Destroya. Perfect life forms are Godzilla, followed up by a Foil Chittering Harvester. Okay, okay. That one was a little bit better, but I know we can do better than that. I know we can do better. Where's our Mythic Godzilla? Where's our Mr. DC? So many other cards that we'd like to see here. Okay, here we go. We have our Twinning Staff Commander card. A Mythos of Snapdex, our Extender Rare. Hey, okay, good. A Box Topper, Genesis Ultimatum. All right. Cavern Whisperer, Chittering Harvester, and another Vivian, Monster's Advocate. Beautiful, just beautiful. All right, and a, of course, a Godzilla Prim Primeval Champion and a Pouncing Shore Shark. Okay, so far, okay, so far, okay. No Mythic Godzillas, no Triumphs. But, still plenty of shots, plenty of shots to get something good. Alright. Oh, oh. oh, no, that was a little, that one was a little tough to open too. Is it going to be a bad pack? Oh, man. Nope, nope, it is not going to be a bad pack. Here we go. Fierce Guardianship. Best commander card you can open in this slot. And I think it's going to continue to be the best card you can open in this slot. I just don't see this card not being the most valuable commander card in that whole set. Alright, Ruinous Ultimatum. Cinder art. Another box topper. Another ultimatum box topper. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at that. Genesis. Uh, emergent ultimatum this time, of course. And we have showcase. Wait a moment. Is this a misprint? Hmm? I can't. I can't tell. I'll put it to the side until I see another one. All right. Another gem razor. Oh, all right. All right. And yes, there we go. Foil. Biocord. Space Godzilla. Foil. Mythic. Godzilla! Yes, yes! And a Dreamtail Heron. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful hit. Alright, two more packs. Two more packs, guys. Two more packs. For Mr. Adam. Here we have our foils, of course, and then a Surly Badger Sore. Alright. Mythos of Adrock. Foil Dirge Bat. A Volpakeet. Boneyard. Okay, so it's not a it's not a misprint. My bad guys. I, I thought I thought I got excited for nothing. A Ketria Triome is our extended art. Wow! Look at that! Another Biocourt Space Godzilla. Followed up by a Migratory Great Horn. Not too shabby at all. Not too shabby. My favorite of the Godzillas. And you got both. Look at that. Look at that. Alright. One last pack for Adam. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Alright. Manascape Refractor, beautiful hit, beautiful hit. In Unpredictable Cyclone, wonderful, wonderful, not too bad at all. Austin's Revenge is our foil. Migratory Greathorn, Pouncing Short Shark, and a Luka, Copper Coat Outcast. That's two of three on the Planeswalkers, not too bad, not too bad for six packs at all. And of course, a baby Godzilla, all right, all right, and a Boneyard Lurker. Okay, right. those are your six packs, Adam. Gonna. Put them to the side and we'll start cracking more packs. JTS Kings 89, we've got four packs for you. Let's see how you do. Here we have a Zaxara, the Exemplary. Probably one of the most valuable cards in this slot. World Win of Thought, Gem Razor, and uh, Insatiable Hemophage is our Showcase 1. Showcase 2 is Cloud Piercer. A Cup Warden is our Showcase Rare. All right. Wow! Look at that, a mythic Godzilla! And it's foil! Beautiful! And a cavern whisper, of course. Okay. Alright, that's a pretty good start, JTS Kings 89. I would expect like two to three mythic Godzillas at max from a box, so I think we've already hit the quota. Very good work, very good work. Here we have a souvenir catcher, Snatcher. Quartzwood Crasher is our extended art. A foil Labyrinth Raptor. Migratory Greathorn. Porky Parrot and a Triumph, Triumph number two of the box. Oh my gosh! 
Matra Super Sonic Queen Super Sonic. <laughs> wow, what a great hit. What a great hit. Back to back Mythic Godzillas for JTS Kings. It's your day, man. It's your day. Are you secretly Mike Mythic, by the way? Mm. At this point, wouldn't be surprised. If this was a Ghidor Ghidorah, then I would start calling you like JTS Kings or JTS Mythics or something, man. All right. Here we have Nikara Lair Scavenger. Eerie Ultimatum, Dark Center Art. Song Creations are Foil. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Snap Decks, Apex of the Hunt is our Mythic. And Ghidorah at the Perfect Pad. All right, all right. Not Ghidorah. Very far from Ghidorah. But double back-to-back -back Mythic Godzillas? I'd be pretty happy with these four packs without even looking at the contents of this last pack. You know what I mean? All right. But we will look at the contents of this last pack. Species Specialists is our commander card. A Colossification is our extended art rare. Nathroi Apex of Death is our foil. Trumping Gnar. Auspicious Eryx. Of course, a Triome. Triome number three of the box. And no, another Dorat. And a Lord Dracus. Okay. All right, all right. Maybe we shouldn't have seen the last pack's content. <laughs> but hey, two Mythic Godzillas. Foil, Rodan, Mothra, beautiful. Beautiful hits, beautiful hits all around. And we have two more packs left. Going to Big China, of course. Let's see how we do. All right, got our Foily boys. Here we got a Dredge the Myers, our commander card. Wow, a mythic Kinnan Bonner Prodigy. One of the better mythics, in fact, Pip Probably one of the best mythics uh, to be extended art. Um, just so so in demand. The card is really in demand. I mean, why is it in demand? Uh, it's two colors that are very, very strong. Just like every band card has been like those two colors. It's very cheap. And whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, add one mana of any type that permanent produced. That ability by itself is insane. But the ability to look at this, this mana sink... Gosh, this card's insane. The card is just insane. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, dude, why why do they print that card? It's so powerful. But luckily, it is more geared towards uh, Eternal Formats um, and Commander because it's a non-land permanent. If it's at a you know land permanent, obviously, that card would just be you know really, really dumb. All right, uh, Sea Dasher Octopus, of course, was our, extended, our, our showcase rare. A Gigan Cyberclaw Terror is our Godzilla. And an Auspicious Terex. All right. Very last pack left of box number 35. All right, here we go. Of course, we have our Foily Boys. Here is our Tidal Barracuda as our commander card. Shark Typhoon is our extender art rare. Ooh, Box Topper, Titan's Nest. All right, Showcase 1. Showcase 2. Broco's Apex of Forever. All right. Uh, that's our Showcase Mythic. And a Godzilla, Godzilla Doom Inevitable. All right, all right. We've already had, what, four Mythic Godzillas in this box, so it makes sense that the last Godzilla is just a rare. At least it's not an uncommon. And hey, another foil uh, showcase. Look at that. Aluna, Apex of Wishes. Beautiful hit. What a beautiful hit. All right, Big China, those are your two packs. I think you did pretty solid. And um, that's it for these two box breaks. Remember to uh, you know give a like and a subscribe if you haven't already to the video, uh, to the channel. Um, every little bit counts, really. Every little bit counts. We're at that you know time of, uh, you know, we're just, just growing. We're a nascent metamorph, to, so to speak. And uh, yes, do check out the giveaway. Uh, a little link will happen. will show up really soon um, for the Memorial Day video. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one, guys. Wow.